Spurge here, and in this video, we are gonna break down the new Alpine Stars GP Force Airflow Leather Jacket. So McHugh on my left-hand side is modeling the newest jacket from Alpine Stars, the GP Force Airflow Leather. Really, the too long didn't read of this. It's designed as a street offering. You got buffalo leather. You got a mass amount of perforation. You are getting a wind blocking liner in there. There is enough stretch worked in here that it is certified for Tech Air 3, Tech Air 5, or Tech Air 10 technology. And it's coming in around the $550 price point. So from a sizing perspective, McHugh on my left hand side is wearing a size 56. He currently stands at a commanding six feet tall, has a 44 inch chest, and weighs in at 220 pounds. You can see it fits him spot on with a nice aggressive race fit. There is that pre-curve to sleeve. This is a jacket that you're looking at if you are riding more of a full tuck bike. Maybe you're on a naked sport bike, maybe you're on an actual sport bike. Probably a little bit more of a leaned over position is what you're considering if you are looking at this particular jacket from Alpine Stars. Now, if you wanted to step up within Alpine Stars line, you could take a look at the GP Plus RV3 jacket with Ride Knit. The Ride Knit just adds in even more stretch, um, but even without the Ride Knit technology and, and bumping up to that GP Plus R. V3, say that 10 times fast. There's still a lot of stretch incorporated in here, and that's really what we're seeing with Alpine Stars to be able to get it certified to accept the airbag systems. It has to have a certain amount of stretch and flex with it. Sizes, I think, like I said earlier, will range from a size 46 up to a 64. And the main construction on this is gonna be buffalo leather as well as perforated buffalo. Now, starting with the collar and working our way through this. So a little bit of comfort liner to the collar. I like the fact there's no aggressive snap on the actual collar itself. It's a Velcro kind of closure that sits a little bit below the collar. Just more comfortable if you're in more of that full tuck position. You're getting that stretch material and it's a rip stop stretch, which is working all the way down the inside of the arm up and over the shoulder blade. And then you're getting that full grain Buffalo hide on the outside in your impact zones. Now the slider on the shoulder on this is their DFS, that is the dynamic friction slider. And it's just a, a kind of like a comfort TPU with that. Pops a reflective working its way across the shoulder. And then you can see as you work your way down, that stretch material on the inside of the arm really kind of works to keep the jacket comfortable in a full range of motion. Velcro and then single zipper opening here. You can see that that liner for the wind blocking liner pushes out. One of the things I'll note is that the liner, it, it just adds a different feel to the overall sizing of the jacket. I would say it's, it's easy enough to throw it in if you need a little bit of a wind blocking layer. Um, but frankly, I would recommend sizing the jacket uh, the way you would normally wear it. And so for me, I would probably pull the liner out and make sure the jacket fits perfectly without the liner in it because I'm, I'm gonna be riding in the jacket more often without that liner in there. It's just a lightweight, wind blocking liner, there's no waterproof protection to that at all. As you're working its way down, as you're working way down the front, one of the things to note here is that I would have liked a little bit more localized perforation, which is something that we've seen from Alpine Stars with a lot of their other garments. With this, the perforation goes all the way up to the edge. And that means in, in a lot of cases here, you're actually sewing over perforated leather. What, what I mean by localized perforation is that the perforation stops an inch or so from the edge so that when you're sewing the garment, you're actually sewing into solid leather. So would have loved to have seen localized perf with this as it stands right now, that perforation goes all the way to the out seams. Dual hand warmer pockets on both sides. McHugh, go ahead and face the riding position for me. You are gonna get an adjuster at the waist on this, Velcro adjuster. Again, massive amounts of accordion stretch on the back of the arms. Just the stretch throughout the entire jacket really makes it quite a comfortable piece. Uh, I've worn some Alpine Zara's jackets in the past that didn't have enough stretch and you kind of feel like you're fighting the jacket. This is very comfortable to wear in a variety of different positions. McHugh, go ahead and face backwards for me. So no back protector included in the jacket itself. It will accept the back protector. The one thing I will note is that the armor that comes included in the shoulders and the elbows on this is gonna be the CE level two Nucleon shoulder and elbow armor. Very comfortable, very lightweight, very flexible, but still meets CE level two ratings. The jacket from an abrasion resistance standpoint is rated at CE double A. You can see you got the GP Force logo at the top on this. Will accept the, uh, the the race suit technology or the airbag technology like we talked about, and then a bit of a drop seat at the bottom. McHugh, go ahead and turn around. Let's unzip and take a look at the inside of this. We can get a clear shot of the liner. 
The one thing that we'll note is you are gonna have a connection zipper at the back. That liner does zip out and you are gonna get a waterproof compartment over on the left-hand side. So you have that Napoleon pocket on the left-hand side for your cell phone in case you do get caught in some rain, you are gonna have a little bit of a blockage there. I mentioned the pocket on the back for a back protector. There is gonna be pockets up front if you wanna add the chest protectors as well. Sir, you can go ahead and zip up. So really solid offering from Alpine Stars. Like I said, comes in around that $550 price point, but if you're looking for a leather jacket that's gonna flow a tremendous amount of air, uh, this is definitely one that will get you into the warmer months of the year. It's always hot to wear a leather jacket in the summertime, but this is one that will promote a ton of air for you. And that extra amount of stretch and flex that's baked in here makes it one of the more comfortable options as well. But there's a lot of folks out there utilizing Alpine Stars on their rides. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting the GP Force Airflow leather jacket through its bases. And if you're not sure as to which leather jacket is right for you and you got more questions, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through the different jackets available to match your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Alpine Stars GP Force Airflow Leather Jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.